WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrial trading up 165, Nasdaq's up 153, S&P's up 26. Gold, gold contract flat, 1946 an ounce. You got silver down 33 cents, $23.69 an ounce. Light sweet crude off a buck and a half, 79.48 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, down eight ticks, trading 114, 19, 30 year off eight at 130.05 and King Dollar. King Dollar trading up 91 ticks, 101.9. 30 euro at 108 yen is at here at a price point of 129 the british pound is at 123 to 1 us dollar let's get over to the queues first because this is lining up so nice folks it's pretty amazing the queues okay the abc structure in the queues is 298.24 to be exact okay we've hit 297.65 we're at 297.65 right now i expect you're going to get it right into the close man this is about as cool as you can get because you're over the swing point. The swing point here is gonna be the 296. It's, you're not gonna have the volume. It's not even close, man. The swing point is 80 million. You're only at 39 million right now. So bottom line is that this thing's setting up for next week to sell, sell, sell in a monster way. <laughs> we take a look at the SPY, same setup in the SPY. Bottom line with the SPY, it's going after the, the higher swing. The highest swing out in the SPY now is 410. We're at 407. Go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract out here today is flat. Uh, bottom line, you had a high out here that was generated at a price point of uh, 1952. You get a low of 1933. Bottom line, you get a sideways move. You get light volume. It's going to be all about the dollar next week, I suspect. Why? Because the dollar almost got, got a bid this morning. But this has been happening all week, okay? The bottom line, it hasn't been able to catch a bid. Um, if we take a look at it intraday, what you're going to see when we started off, okay, all bad news. Futures are basically not up like they are right now. And all it took was that dollar to back off from the 102, 189, um, which it did. It backed off just to, to understand this. Uh, bottom line, um, only 200 ticks, but yet that was enough for the broad market to go finish these ABC structures on the way up. So pretty cool, man. And then inside of the NDX, if you want to see something that's wild, folks, it's all the dead. It's the worst stocks in the world that are running the NDX. Well, not Tesla. Well, Tesla's coming off the bottom, too. Lucent is up 46%. Tesla's up 12. Rivian's up 10. That's what's, that's what's shaking it, man. Shaking it and baking it. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.